Good morning, good morning, Stampers. This is Nemi Bathstone from Nemi's Crafty Cafe. Just 20 minutes northeast of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And it is another cloudy day here. And I'm coming live with you today on Facebook. Replay if you're here on Facebook or YouTube. So if you are here, do say hello. Let me know if you caught the replay or answer any of my questions as you walk through the video. Um, today we are featuring some more of the new catalog and particularly the in colors. I've had a bit of time to play with them so I've been excited and happy to share them with you. And I have a few things going on this month. Well, you know, it's always the case when you have a new catalog. There's so many things you want to share and showcase and there's just not enough time. So I'm hoping I give you enough inspiration and <laughs> oh maybe it's too much. Um, and lots of opportunity to craft and create with me and also join and participate with um, with others, right? So uh, just a reminder, we have a new starter kit special for this month, which includes all of the in colors. So I usually offer an annual in color club um, each year and it needs a minimum of five participants. So I'm hoping five of you join up. But it's a great way to purchase the in colors without having to spend a whole lot, right? Because if you were to buy all the elements of the in colors, you're looking at over $200, which is fantastic because it's a workshop order and you'll get product back free. But you can also get it quicker by joining and um, purchasing the starter kit. So this month, for a month of May only, you can get a free collection of the starter kit. And I'll flash that real quickly to show you what you get in that as soon as I put the camera down. Um, I also would recommend that you do sign up for my newsletters because my newsletters has all the links of my upcoming events for the next few months. And I'm hoping that you can join me, especially my new product um, catalog launch party. So I'm having a one day event and then I'm probably gonna do a two day BOGO, maybe three day BOGO virtual. Um, uh, sale because I, I don't, if you see this right here, right there. So that's all I have for storage. Um, I do have a bunch of stamp sets that are retired that are in boxes and then I bring them to retreats for everyone to use. So I try and sell off as much of that as I can because I don't have a lot of space. My craft room is also doubles as a guest room. So <laughs> Uh, I have to keep things on the down low <laughs> and it also will now it will now also have my piano in the next few weeks um, so I haven't been able to get rid of my piano which I've been giving for free and so I've decided I'll just keep it and we will move it into the sunroom so it's not in um, the big uh, flowy area of our kitchen dining room living room okay so it's only coffee so we gotta get crafting here so I'm gonna flip and just do a couple more announcements. And then I'm gonna show you the card that we're going to make. It's Friday, so like many other demonstrators, um, I thought I would do a fun fold. And this is a fun fold that I think I, I let me see if I still have, no, I don't have it up. Um, I think her name was um, Stamp with Marsha. I couldn't find her last name because this was uh, a card I had created years ago, but, my poster note only said Stamp with Marsha and I tried to find it on Facebook or YouTube and Pinterest and couldn't really find it so I can't tell you exactly who the demonstrator is that I'm casing today. But I made a couple twists so hopefully you like it and you will create it as well. So let's get crafty here. I'm just going to flip you and everybody, all the top demonstrators um, are currently on the well, not everybody, but majority of them are at, in, uh, what do you call it, in Mexico, um, enjoying their retreat. So that's super exciting. I'm so happy for them. And they'll be back this weekend, so don't worry. They will be here to share with you some more. So I'm just going to make sure I can read the screen. So if you're there, say hello. And that I actually have volume, so I'm just gonna make sure, yep. Okay, and let's get crafty. So, <clears throat> new catalog, right? 
If you have not yet received one, then, you know, please let me know and I can send you one. And um, I know I've, if you have been a consistent customer with me, then you will have already be, yours would be shipped already on its way. Um, and if you don't and you don't have a demonstrator, you would like one and the demonstrator hasn't provided you one either way, just let me know and I can send you one. So comment below. Good morning. Good morning. Excellent. I'm glad the sound's working great. So again, $112.75 value. So you get the ink pads, the card stock, the designer series paper, and the right markers for free if you join um, Stampin' Up. Now, also, I have the new catalog launch party, as I mentioned. It'll be held in St. Boniface area in person. However, if you cannot attend it and you would still like it, you can purchase the welcome kit for $60. I will put a, a set of the card buffet cards in there along with your welcome gifts um, and you'll have access videos as well to what's going on and a first uh, first grabs to a virtual BOGO sale. Um, in Color Club, if you are part of my team, the In Color Club for you is free. Oh, I should note too, um, new catalog launch party. If you're part of my team, there is a discount code so make sure you get the discount code from our team page because you get a discount on attending. And in Color Club, if you're part of the Prairie Grass Stampers, you get that for free. You get to join us for free. Um, the in Color Club kit will include an ink pad, four sheets of cardstock, eight sheets of designer series paper, the blends, the right markers, 30 shimmer gems, 24 resin dots, two yards of ribbon, tutorials for the make and takes, and a six by 12 in color glim glimmer specialty paper, which is my treat. And then I also feature a stamp set every month with that as well. So we are going to feature Unbounded Love, I believe for that one, for the first month. Okay, so today though, I wanted to play with Hearts and Hugs bundle. So it is this one here. So here is the beautiful stamp set. It didn't look like much, but then when I started playing with it, I was like, this is fun. And I participated in a swap and I used this stamp set in one of my swaps. So I can't wait to get my swaps back and share them with you. Okay, so um, I created a fun fold yesterday and I'm gonna twist it up a bit and um, I'll show you all of them in all the in colors as soon as we're done creating it. But this is pretty much all you need. So this is the last color. I couldn't decide if we should cut this and have a frame or have no frame. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe we should have a frame. Because this is my twist up on the other cards. But I wanted to use a second design. So this is the first, the other side, and then this will be the featured designer series paper. So yeah, I think, but now that I'm working with it, I think I might use the frame. So we're gonna use quite a bit of the In Color product here that you would also get in your In Color Club Kit. And as well, if you sign up, you will get the same. So we're just gonna take this. This is, oh, I already scored it, fantastic. So I scored it at five and a quarter. So this is, but it doesn't look right. It looks thicker, let me just double check. I might have not trimmed it down yet. Yep, I didn't trim it down yet. So I need to trim this down to four. Four inches. I'm like, why does that look wide? Okay, that makes sense. Cause I have to cut a bunch of them to get them done. Then there's my half inch strip. I'll keep that just in case I need it for another card. Cause strips are always good for sentiments. Okay, I should be good now. So just gonna grab my bone folder here. And that's what's gonna go here. So that is the base of my card. So this card um, has a framed base. So it'll still stand because you'll have this, but it'll stand more like this, just FYI, uh, because this uh, base is only a one sheet, sheet base. So now this goes here and then, so I did a quarter inch, so I'm probably gonna have to be pretty consistent. So that's four inches by five and a quarter. So we're gonna have to go, if I wanna have that white border around, 
Then we're gonna have to go another quarter inch. So if that's four, which is perfectly fine because then I save. So this one, I'm gonna have my stripes going the other way. So keep that in mind when you're doing this because if you wanna reuse the other half of a um, directional patterned piece of paper then, or piece of pattern paper, then you wanna make sure that that's in the right direction. So in this case, because this is a two inch strip, um, I would probably use that on a card and use it going with the lines horizontal. So I'm going to just cut that down. So that's my piece I will save for later. And then we were at five and a quarter. I'm just gonna double check, cause you know, knowing me, I'll cut it wrong. Yep. So now we need to go at five. So this will be five. There you go. And then I have another little strip that I can use either side for a card. This will be good with a stripey card. You know, where you get all those scrap pieces and you just throw it on the front. Maybe I'll make that one later. Okay, oops, I was wrong. This isn't four. Should be three and seven, three and a quarter. See, already made a mistake. That's okay, because we'll just use that stripey piece again as well. Yep. You know where you make those scrap cards? with all your scrap and they have all the stripes going in different directions or at angles, can go either way. There we go. So that one's gonna go right there. And so now this becomes the, uh, the actual card and then you can open it up. So we'll stamp the inside first. I'm gonna do a bit of stamping. And then we're gonna create our fun fold. So that part's important. <laughs> so I decided to uh, put two characters on here, so I'm going to use the mouse, and I think that's a chipmunk, right? Couldn't figure it out. Then my kids were like, no, it's a hamster. So can it be either or? I don't know. So I'm going to stamp in crumb cake because I felt regardless if it's a mouse, or sorry, a chipmunk or a hamster, I am going to use crumb cake and put him right on the inside there. Now, how cute is he? So cute. And then I'm just going to use Memento and grab one of the, oops, I, for, I was using part of another sound set and I forgot I put it away. So this is the um, Thoughtful Wishes bundle. That's this one here. And we're going to use part of that. This is so beautiful. We used this yesterday, didn't we? or this week. So we're gonna take the You Make Life Better because I needed another sentiment because um, it actually kind of, the fonts match except for the Fonly. And these were all straight ones and I wanted something bigger on the inside. So I'm just gonna get a bigger block too. So we're gonna take this, You Make My Life Better. And I'm gonna stamp that right there on the inside with the little guy. And I'm just gonna use Memento. I was gonna use the ink color, but this one's pink. And I'm just gonna stamp him right about there. You make life better. There you go. Beauty. So still plenty of room to write, but you also have the top part if you prefer that. Okay, so that's that. And then we're gonna put this on the front on the inside. So we'll just glue that down now. We might as well make this part. And well, we'll do our fun fold piece to this next. Okay, I like to add my middle initial in the middle. My, my initial in the middle, not my middle, my first name initial. <laughs> I love this paper. So we have a new stamp set called the Leaf Collection. I should show that one to you as well. It's quite popular last weekend. And it has all these leaves in different directions. And I was like, that's so pretty. And that's what this reminds me of. So I'm thankful that you only get like eight, uh, four of these in your four, right? I think it's, I think it's only four. And so four of this pattern. So I'm like, okay, if I run out, then at least I can use that big leaf as an option. And then this is gonna go here in the middle and it's gonna have 
the sentiment. Um, so it's there when you need it. So we have, you're probably like, why is she going backwards? What is on the front? Don't worry, I'll explain it. Now I'm gonna try and stamp this straight somehow without my head in the way. Hopefully I get that straight. Okay, so that's gonna go here. But first we need our fancy dancy um, fun fold. So we're gonna take these two little squares they're only like three inches. And the reason I went with three inches is because I'm frugal. I don't like to waste my six by six. So then I still have three inches left. And we're just gonna score these both at one inch. So then we know where the fold is. So that one inch, or I could have did a half inch, but one inch seemed to work really well at making the tips. If you go smaller on this fold so that you don't waste a lot more paper, um, hidden, then uh, just know that your tips will overlap. You're like, I don't get it. Yeah, of course you don't, because I haven't told you what I'm doing yet. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our ruler and we're gonna find the middle. So this is, um, this is three inches, so one and a half, because we have to make a, a tip, one and a half. And then I'm gonna do that here as well. One and a half. Sounds like my husband's mowing the lawn. Like seriously. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Okay. I thought he had work work. Okay. So we'll do that. So now we have to make a tip. Kind of like, you know, a point. So we're just going to take this end. This is like a mystery because I haven't told you anything or showed you the final card yet. And these two are gonna go together. So I'm just bringing them in so that I know I'm straight. Cause I tried this yesterday, then I didn't do this one straight. And then this one was crooked, the two tips off. Oh. Yeah, so this is my trick. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna flip it. And now I've got my two tips. So there's my one piece of my fold of my flap that's gonna go in this card. And our designer series paper is quite thick, um, which is a good thing. And I love that about it because then you know you're getting really good quality paper. And I just want to make sure my tips are together, my bottoms are even here. And I got a nice tip there. And I just can use my bone folder to fold those down. Flip. And we got that. Okay, so here's our fun. So now this is going to go like so. And there's our fun fold right there. So you have that, so this will open up. So let's get that prepped so you can see what I mean. Now I'm just eyeballing it. I'm like, where's my center? Oh, my center is right about there. So I'm like center, center kind of thing. Cause you know, this is five and a quarter. So it's gonna go like that. And we're gonna flip it over. Then we're gonna add our glue. So whatever adhesive you like to use, I like my liquid glue because it just gives me some wiggle room. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's nice and flush there. And optionally, you can also um, glue these down if you want. I just felt it didn't need it. So I'm just gonna crease that a bit more because I didn't crease it very well. So then we're gonna do our other half. So we just wanna make sure those tips are aligned. So like I was saying, if you make bigger squares, let's say three and a quarter, three and a half, or four, then these tips are gonna eventually overlap. And I just wanted my tips to just touch right about there. Okay, I'm just gonna add my glue. And again, I'm using liquid glue so that I can if I need to and it doesn't line up straight, I can just adjust this some more. So I'm just I'm just eyeballing it. And of course I can't. There we go. And I'll just push that down. And there's our flaps. Ta-da! So now this one, now that I have my two points and I kind of know where to put it. This is gonna go right on the inside. So then you have to open it when you actually see the sentiment. 
So it's right about there. So we're just gonna glue that down. I'm not gonna use dimensionals on this one. We'll put dimensionals on the front and we'll find the center about there. And I got some kind of, oops, glue or something there. So I'm just gonna clean that off. Cause you know, whoever gets this card, cause if you like, share, and obviously comment, then you'll get a draw ticket and we'll have a chance to win this card. That's perfect. We're gonna cover so you won't be able to see that. And there's our fun flap. So now you will, we'll put a belly band on this. So it opens up. Oh no, I put it upside down. Whew, good thing it's glue. <laughs> Feel free to laugh because I'm laughing. There we go. Oh my, good thing we have glue on there. See, if you had used two-way tape or something like that, we would have been in trouble. Oh yay, let's find that center right about there. Oh my, okay, note to self, always make sure you check which direction your card opens. Phew, okay, there, there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at myself, so feel free to laugh with me. Okay, you got put funny on that one. So now this one just goes like this. And then we will add adhesive to the back. Oh boy. You know, sometimes I see lots of people put tons of adhesive. Again, I'm frugal. I put my little initial in the middle. So you don't have to use a crap load of adhesive on there. Our The multi-purpose glue holds really well once it dries. So I would do, I know, you know, I've done it so many times or put it upside down and then it opens the opposite direction. But then I just turned it into a fun fold and add another flap so that it, it was assumed it was done that way. Cause I'm too late now, right? So anyway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this I cannot give you dimensions on. I can just tell you it's one inch thick um, by 11 because it, depending whenever you do a fun fold, it just depends where it lands, right? So you just want to make sure it's tight enough to um, slide over and then it's also loose enough to slide on and off. So you want it tight enough to hold, but then also tight, loose enough to be able, I think I have to go just a bit more. I'm gonna try and pull that just a bit. Cause you don't want it to be too tight and then you don't want it to be too loose so that it comes on and off. So I think I'm okay. So then I always, I know most people just leave it but I like to make sure I'm crisp. So I just take my bone folder and go and now it's gonna be too much usually you can get away with about 10 inches but i always just like what's the point you're just scrapping a one by one if you cut this one inch off so i like to just eyeball it and then i will trim this one inch off so it's not overhanging my sentiment. So you can put a square, a circle, a rectangle. Um, I was gonna use the postage dies. And then I thought, no, I'm gonna keep it simple because some of you may not have all these supplies yet. And so I didn't want you to feel like, oh, I can't make all this. So I wanted to make things with what we actually have on hand. So put that there and then I'm gonna add glue here both tips, make sure my belly band is straight, like so. Then I'm gonna grab my tear and tape and I'm gonna give it a little more texture and life by adding some ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the Pretty in Pink ribbon I always like to, um, when I do a belly band like this, I like to make sure that I put some adhesive down in case, right? Like, because you don't want that, you don't want this ribbon to be extremely loose and then it falls off the belly band. 
especially when you're giving it to people who don't really receive fun fold cards um, and don't realize you just rip off the belly band. <laughs> I've had that with a few people because, you know, they get my fancy cards and they're like, oh, it's so pretty. But then they don't know how to open it and they try and untie the ribbon. And I'm like, no, that's not how the card opens. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. But they don't know that. So some, that's why it's kind of cool how we have some of those um, die sets that say, oh, or stamp sets that says open me or that comes with an arrow so that they know that you have to, there's a pull tab or a rotation tab or something like that. So there you go. And I just have a little bit extra here. So I'll just cut that off. There. So there is our belly band and here's the true test. Does it or does it not fit? Perfect. Yay. Because sometimes I put this on too tight and then you're like, oh no, they're going to struggle. They'll easily get it off, but then they can't easily put it back on. There. Isn't that beautiful, this color? Pretty and pink. It's, I think it's a toss-up, right? It's almost like it's not as bright. Or it's brighter than Blushing Bride, I think, which was also retired. So here is our circle. So that's just going to fit there. So we'll just put that on right now. So I'm going to use dimensionals for this one. So we're just going to find the center of our circle. And I'm just going to put a bunch of dimensionals. I usually like to do three or four, um, usually four or three, um, because of the fact that we are using, it's going on ribbons. So a little bit extra is kind of nice. Okay, and that now sits here, and that is the center. And now we just need to stamp again. So I decided to use the mouse. So we're gonna stamp the mouse in gray, and then we're gonna use the sending a big hug. So we're sending a big hug, then it opens up so it's there when you need it, and then on the inside says thinking, thinking of you fondly. So it all, flows together. Now again, I'm going to try and stamp this without getting my head in the way. And this is our beautiful um, block that is retired. I'm so sad that they retired the G block because it's great for sentiments like this where they're just single straight lines and now you no longer can get it. Sad. I did put it in the suggestion box to bring it back. So we'll see. We'll see what they say. So there's our mouse. Dun, 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 dun. So cute. And last but not least, we are going to use our right marker. So not many of us use our right markers. So we're going to. And I'm going to color his nose pink. And then I'm going to color in the heart. So instead of using my blends, I am using the right marker because I figured, you know, we don't use these often enough and they're great for coloring, but they're also great for stamps. So when you have stamps that you want to do multiple colors of ink on, this is a great way to do it. There we go. But you can also use it to color because there is a marker tip. So there is the marker tip as well so you could go in there with the marker with the paintbrush tip I should say and just color that in there's my heart so I left him all blank I was gonna actually color him in with um the gray with smoky slate but then I was like no I kind of like it the outlined outlined look and then this just goes on top and you know what we're done how easy and cute is that now I've, where's my dimensionals? There they are. So, um, did I use dimensionals? I probably did. I can't remember. So that's why I did everything else flat. This should still go through the mail. No problem. Um, and if it doesn't, it just becomes oversized just because of its thickness. So sending a big hug. We're going to make sure that's straight. And that goes there. Now, I didn't feel like this needed gems. Only because, too, it has a belly band. So you could also put a bow here for a belly on the belly band. You could tie a bow as well. 
on there. I just chose not to. I thought it was clean and nice. So sending big a big hug. So it's there when you need it um, and you make life better. I think I was actually supposed to use thinking of you fondly and I put you make life better. Oops. Okay, so, but it works, it still works. So that goes there. So this card will be sent to you because it's prettier than I think my other cards. I don't know, I guess I was kind of, I was watching TV while I was making these. So that's probably what threw me off. So here's all the other ones. Here's all the other in colors. So here's the one in Shy Shamrock. Now, the only difference is yesterday I was like, I didn't put, um, thank you, Christine. I didn't put the um, designer series paper. So this one just shows, so it's there when you need it. And then I use the heart stamp. And then of course on the inside, thinking of you fondly. So you see both patterns here still right and then this closes so they're all the same and again I didn't put the bow on this one maybe I should on the other one so you can see the difference and then this one is obviously the petunia pop and then we have the um, summer splash and peach pie so I guess my question is which one do you like better? Do you like it with just the white or do you like it better with um, patterned paper, the designer series paper underneath? Which one do you like? I mean, these are easy to add the paper to because you could just, I could just cover this up and then it's ready to go. Just wanted to share that. So yeah, which one do you like better? Designer series paper or not? Now. Let's see what happens if we do put a bow here. I almost feel like I would want to slide that over, like the sentiment, but I don't think that will work. Oops. So we're at the 30 minute mark, so that's good. And we're done. But I just want to see what it looks like with ribbon. If we are to add a bow, here okay so there's a knot and then a bow with then oh I think I need a bit more hang on need a bit more on this tail to be able to do a nice bow I think You know, it's always difficult to do bows when you're live. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, much better. Glad I added that little bit there. And then we'll cut that off. So I'm not too sure if the bow matters or adds any extra touch, but there you go. You like it with the pattern paper? Yeah, I think so too. And then there's a difference when you add the bow on there. So I'll probably go back and add the pattern paper to those. And because um, you can, doesn't matter. You still need that piece. And then there's the bow. So don't know if it really makes much of a difference, but would love your opinion. And that's it. And we're done. So super duper easy, right? And it's a fun way to play with the designer series paper. Um, you have two you can use, so you can use one for the inside and then one for your flaps. And you can kind of see the little angles. That's the other reason why I like the three inch is because you can see on here though, it really stands out more on the white that you've got some kind of tuxedo or bow tie pattern going on there. Whereas on here, you don't see it as strongly, right? So thank you again for joining me and I hope you have fun crafting this weekend. It is National Scrapbook Day, um, I believe tomorrow. So uh, I know there is a couple of big retreats going on right now, uh, which I usually attend, which is Scrapbook Cottage, but uh, soccer schedules and everything, I just thought, you know, I'm gonna craft at home. So this Saturday um, in the afternoon, I believe Bishop has a birthday party, so I'll drop him off. 
And then after that, I'm probably going to just craft away on Saturday. So if you'd like to join me, just comment below and I'll send you a Zoom link. So then you're not crafting alone. I mean, it's I'd rather craft together. So, um, and we'll just chat and create our own products and projects. So have a good day. It's Friday, so enjoy your weekend. Um, enjoy National Scrapbooking Day. I hope you get some crafting in and maybe some yard work. And we will see you again on Sunday. Take care and um, have a good uh, Friday. Happy stamping. Bye. If I can hit the off button.